Okay, the purpose of this video series is to show you how to create a data set using SPSS, which we're calling Homework 2 in this class. There's two ways to get there. One is in the course schedule. It's a little bit more cumbersome. Easier way is right here, so I'm just going to use this one. They'll both get you to the same place. Real quickly, I want to let you see that this is an HTM file or a web page file. Here is how you got here by using these videos, to these videos. But if you were in this link over here, same file, but these links don't work. Okay? So I just wanted to let you know that. So this PDF file may be better to print out. I need you to print this out because look, please, oh please, oh please, did I say please read this whole document before you start. So print this out using either the PDF or this file, whatever looks better on your computer, and please read it. Um, two purposes. One, you're going to need that when you actually create your data set. You're going to need to understand some of the stuff that I'm going to talk about in this video because I won't be able to cover everything in the video that I do in this written document, just to try to keep the video shorter. And <clears throat> lastly, I'd like to take this opportunity to give you a little pep talk about why you're in college. Um, I care about you in the long run, not just about you getting through this class or just getting a degree, although I want you to do both. Um, but I'd like to tell you that some people, they're really in college and they think all they need is that piece of paper, that degree, and that's going to allow them to go out and succeed in the world. And respectfully, they're wrong. That piece of paper, it'll get you in the door, but if you don't have the skills that go along with that piece of paper, you're never going to succeed. You're going to be the first one fired, if you will. You're going to be the one that's passed up for that promotion. Um, so I think... One of the most valuable things in college you learn to do, the most valuable thing is the skill that you learn is learning to do what you don't want to do when you don't want to do it. And I know you don't want to read this document. I don't blame you. Okay, I wouldn't want to read it either. I know you'd rather skim, skim it or scan it. Don't do that. Um, another valuable skill that you learn is learning to not only read stuff that you don't want to read, but to comprehend it. Um, that's a valuable skill that you're going to have to use in any professional degree, but especially in public administration. But in any professional environment, you're going to have to read stuff you don't want to read that's kind of boring, and you're going to have to comprehend it. So each of those are valuable skills um, that are going to help you succeed in life. And again, that's why I'm giving this pep talk, because I care about you in the long run, not just in the short run. So it's your education. Do what it with you will. But if you're really serious about it, print this out read it, have it sitting next to you when you watch the videos, and when you do the actual creating of your own data set.